Craig Hopkins and I want to share some tips with you about getting the front sheet metal on a car. It's a balancing act really and everything has to work together. We have a Dodge Challenger right here. It's a true unibody car, meaning that the inner fenders and the rails are all unitized also. A little different than a General Motors car, they all require tricks. When we're done with this car, I think that you're going to have every trick necessary to get the sheet metal on the car. Now the fenders on this car are just too rusty to use. We have taken the time to line up the doors, that's where everything starts. The car's here. You know what? I'm ready to get to work. So. Having said that, let's grab the fenders and get to work. And right here, we have exactly what we need to fix the car. We've got a new hood, we have a valence, we have fenders all the way down the hinges. One thing we haven't looked at is the hardware for the car. We'll address it as we get there. My recommendation to you, save yourself the grief, buy the new hardware. So having said all that, I think it's time to get to work. With the metal out of the boxes, you get a lot better idea what's going to go on here. We're going to get rid of a rusty mess, but really the object of this DVD is to show you how to get it onto the car. But I'm going to tell you, this RT hood that's in this box right here, high quality part, but son of a gun, it weighs a ton. It's going to take two guys at least to get this on the car. So let's start putting that car together and learn how to balance it out.